And then we'll open up for questions. Okay. Um, obviously, another disappointing uh, loss. Um, you know, we got off to a good start. Uh, had the lead. Um, you know, they had a, uh, a punt block for a touchdown that hadn't happened all year. Uncharacteristic. Um, then we had a returner. We were going to fair catch it. And I think he bobbled it or whatever. We got the ball in the one foot line and we threw a pick six, um, you know, the next play. And they had the momentum coming out of half, but our guys did a really good job coming out of half to get the momentum back. And I really think a big part of the game is we're up by three. We had the ball in about the 30, 33 yard line, something like that. And we chose to, to kick a field goal and I think hit, hit the upright. They went and drove the field. Um, and then, you know, they, they took the lead right there and it was tough after that. But our guys fought hard, but uh, we didn't play good enough to win. That's just that's what I told our guys. I mean, the penalties really make me sick. I mean, that was that was a tough deal. And, and I'll say this about any time you got a, a quarterback, which I thought Dylan battled. He did some really good things, but you got a quarterback for the first time on the road. And, you know, there's a lot of logistics and as far as the communication, and everything goes. And I know we had some false starts, especially early. Um, you know, but. You know, that many penalties, uh, that's, that's not good. We didn't, bottom line, we didn't do what it took to win the game. Uh, they did. Give them credit. Uh, another disappointing loss for us. Questions? You guys said over 400 yards held them to about two, 260. It looks like how disappointing is it when you look at those mistakes? I know mean, you just touched on it, but you know, yeah. the pump block at yeah. yeah, the, the you, first half. Yeah. How disappointing Yeah, it makes you sick. It, it really does. Uh, hadn't had, had had this happened much in my career, and, and we're having to deal with it. And, and uh, like I said, the, they block a pump for a touchdown, you know, and then we have a pick six. I mean, that's 14 points right there, and you know we did outplay them as far as statistically, but statistically doesn't doesn't put wins, uh, you know, on the board. I guess you, you talked about the the I guess it was the fumbled kickoff or the kickoff in there, but where I guess Christian was trying to get out of the out of the out of the end zone. Which, what what did you see on that play, and, and, and what what can you take from that? And I guess yeah, to be honest with you, we were you know we're talking, and I had my back turned, you know knowing we were going to fair catch it. And then I kind of heard the crowd and I looked up and it looked like he was bobbling it. And then we got the ball on the, the one foot line. So that's really all I saw. And what's the thought process then to throw at that situation instead of maybe trying to run? Well, when you throw a pick six, that's, that's a great question. But, uh, you know, we were, that was just part of it. That was part of the play call. But uh, obviously it didn't work. And what was the thought process to kick the field goal at that late juncture? And you only would have been out by six at that point. Was that a decision? Obviously yeah, you yeah, it was. And I felt good about that. I mean, it's right in the middle. Um, obviously, it didn't work. But uh, going up, uh, you know, by more than a field goal, I thought it was the right thing to do at the time. And uh, obviously, you know, when it hits upright and doesn't work, I mean, then you second guess everything. But at the time, I felt, I felt like that was the right thing to do. Yes, you talked about Dylan, you know, Obviously, this is a growing experience for him going through what he did the second half. Do you feel like that pick six kind of rattled him in the second half? No, no, I don't. I mean, he he got over that. He really did, and came out and the, you know, we had a protection. You know, the the sack, the big sack towards the end was tough. I think it was second and three, and we did max protect on a play, and he took. You know, he he got a sack. But I thought Dylan did some good things. I mean, he he battled. There was two or three third downs that man, they were all over him. He just extended the play and and and. and you know, move the change for us. So I thought he did some really good stuff. And in fairness to him, I mean, he he hadn't played a lot of football, and you know, that's a team that you know that is towards the top of our our league. But I thought Dylan did some really good things. Once again, you're able to lean on R.J. Harvey, and he seemed to gain steam yeah. throughout the second half. Yeah, they were they were they were doing a lot of blitzes, and of course, that's to, to be expected. We did expect that they do a lot of run blitzes and all that. He got loose. You know, in, in the second half, and did a, did a, a good job with that. I mean, he's he's a weapon. I think everybody knows that. Late in the game, when ASU was able to you know drive for those touchdowns, do you think the defense got tired, or what did you see? Late yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I think I think you could see we were getting a little tired, and that had a lot to do with the decision to go for it on fourth and two. I just felt like our defense was a little tired, and, and um, you know we put it in the ball in the best players' hands, and it didn't work. But um, I thought that was the right thing to do at the time. You know, with our defense being a little tired. Because you got bye week now. What 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 do you go back to the drawing board to work on? I mean, you only got a couple games left, yeah. and now you're that you're kind of hanging uh, with the bowl. Trying yeah, to well, bowl we, we, like I told her, we got to we got to find a way to win two games to, to go to a bowl. That's just where we're at, and um, that's that's we'll be, um, you know, what we'll do. Um, 
you know, this this next week. Uh, we'll get ready for the next two, and um, this is where we're at. A few more. You cut the penalties in half last week, and then this week. Uh, yeah. How yeah, frustrating I, is that? I think the, the four legal motions were, were tough to swallow. There's no doubt we had a, a, a punt um, on the punt return. We had a 15-yard holding penalty. I think we were holding their, uh, their nose man. But, yeah, and then, you know, it was an effort play on the one. It was third and for whatever, and he's 10 yards back, and we got a face mask. But our guy was, you know, he, he was trying to he was trying to get him and grabbed his face mask. That was a tough one. Javaris Johnson looked like he might have been able to yeah. take that in for a touchdown. Unfortunately, we saw what happened. That looked pretty serious. I, I don't know exactly. I know he couldn't return, but it did look didn't look great, and it was close to to being where he had a chance. But uh, hopefully, he'll be okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Thank you.